Yeah, sorry about that, brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah, it was uh, the video cut short. Okay, let's go. Get, I'm just going to recap. Um, this is part two of the video. The app keeps cutting out. Um, we are busy with uh, Daniel, the book of Daniel, verse 23. I'm just going to recap this one. Daniel 7, verse 23. Thus he said, the fourth king, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom, kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall weigh out the saints of the Most Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and dividing of time. So what this verse is saying is that. How to distinguish or the the distinguishing characteristic of who this beast is is the Roman Empire, because the Roman Empire, who married state and church together, it's a, like a combination, and there was no separation, became one, and they changed the law of time, and that law has become the Sunday, Sunday worship. And this was by Emperor Constantine, I think it was, if I remember correctly. I don't like to focus on things, on ungodly things, but I'm just going to, I don't even write those things down. Uh, I know it's in our history, but that's not what I, I focus on the Lord, I focus on His righteousness. Um, and that happened in, if I remember correctly, the year 325 AD. Um, yeah, BCE, before the Common Era, that's so that's how they say it. Um, so that was about 1800 years ago, am I correctly? Am I correct? 1700 years ago. They changed, that was when Sunday was implemented. And this is what uh, Daniel 3, 7.25 says, that, and think to change times and laws. That is what, they, what Daniel is referring to. And they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and dividing of time. Now, the way I understand it, or the way I understand this, it, until the time and times. Now, I think it's, uh, uh, it's just I just feel it in my heart. You don't have to take it to heart, but for me, I like to 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 meditate on these verses and what they actually mean. And it, when the Holy Spirit reveals these things, and He says, and 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 I ask these questions, and to me, a time is a thousand years, like it says in Second Peter three verse eight. One day with the Lord is like a thousand years. So, according to that, I say a thousand a thousand years is at the one time, and then two times, and then half a time with dividing of time. So that's two and a half thousand years. So that I don't know when Daniel wrote this vision, but it just feels right. It's right with my spirit that this is written two and a half thousand years ago. Um, so, what the Lord has showed me with regards to the Sabbath is um, this, and I was I was taken back, and I, and I'm yearning, and I, when I write on the Sabbath, when I write in my God journal, this is my journal and this is my Bible. When I write in these in in your, um, transcripts from the Bible and the teachings and the sermons are written in here, I've got four four of them so far. <laughs> I'm very proud of them because I've never written anything in my life. I used to sit and read before I got saved. I used to read love car magazines and populous what's it popular mechanics science books, science magazines. So those are my thing. That is the only reading I actually took in. And I've read about five novels in my whole life. And um, but the Bible is the true novel. I am I am just amazed by it. When this word, every verse comes alive in my life. I just am alive in it. The spirit of, of the Lord is alive in it. And I'm very proud to say that. So the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day law. I just want to go. Because one day a sister. I, I mentioned three about three years ago. I mentioned this to my to a, a church sister, and I said to her, um, "I mentioned the Sabbath," and she said, "Don't tell me you like this type 
Christian and I don't know what she was going off on about off about, but I don't like confrontation. So I just quickly hushed and tried to change the topic. And not change the topic, but she let a letter finish because I don't wanna uh, cause any fighting among brethren. That's not my. That's not the reason why I'm here. That's not. That's not very Christian like. So I just stay out of it. So she, I waited for her to finish. But until this day, three years later, I'm still betwixt about why she got so upset, basically, about the Sabbath. And this is what what the Lord showed me. I'm going to go into, I know it's the law, and I'm just going to explain, and you can take to heart what what you feel about this, the Sabbath day. And this topic is called the Sabbath day law. The Sabbath day law. Exodus 20 verse 8, that's where we'll start in the Old Testament. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days thou shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In thou shalt do shall not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within the gates. For in six days the Lord hath made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath and hallowed it. That is your key word. He hallowed the Sabbath day. The Lord is 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 the same from he is the Alpha and Omega, he's from the beginning to the end, he is still the same. He doesn't change character. We change. We have changed. He doesn't change his character. So that law stands and the Sabbath will even though Jesus was here, he he came here, but he the the the, the Sabbath remained a hallowed day. Hallowed be thy name, just like his name, Je- um, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord and the and the Father, the Father God. He hallowed it. Luke four sixteen. Now we're going into the New Testament. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been and brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue. On the Sabbath day, and stood up for the for to read. This is Jesus in the synagogue. He actually stood up, and he went. He didn't change it to a Sunday. He went on the Sabbath day to preach. And 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 this book was and and this is what he read. And this is what he re- he read Isaiah sixty one, verse one and two. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. And he says there in that verse that he, that this has been fulfilled, the the Old Testament has been fulfilled by him standing there reading. Because it says that everyone in the synagogue turned and looked at him because he read two verses and he sat down. And he made a statement. He made a statement that now scripture has been fulfilled. And they gawked. They basically, imagine you in that synagogue, this man... And you gawked at him, like, and now scripture's fulfilled. And he's he's saying, is this God? You know, you can imagine what's going through their heads. Um, I'm going to skip now. Because of time, I have to fast forward. I've only got 10 minutes, and I'm ready now. Mark 2.27, and he said unto them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore the Son of Man is Lord also of the sabbath colossians 2 16 says regarding that sister i wish i had known this let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the sabbath days which are shadow of things to come but the body is of christ in brackets i've put there the substance belongs to christ that is another esv english standard version of that bible verse then Matthew 5 verse 17 says, here's more backup scripture. Think not that I am come, this is Jesus, think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am come to not to destroy, but to fulfill the law that you not keep. And that is in Isaiah 61 
verse 1 and 2 is come to fulfill.